Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today video, we are going to discuss some of the most asked SQL query interview questions. Okay, so beats uh, like full stack developer interview or a backend developer interview or a DBA interview. Okay, so these are the most uh, known question. You must be knowing these all uh, practical questions because what is the theory to all of you but practical when you ask the things, people first. Jate hai, okay. So I'm going to discuss uh, the most asked questions from my experience uh, which I have faced in the previous interviews okay so uh, let's start so pehle hum kya karenge we'll, uh, so uh, let me give you some brief about it so just to let you know a little bit about the background so this is the table I have created so I have created two tables to demonstrate you the examples so the first table is employee info so here I have created these columns name employee ID employee name department date of birth city gender okay employee ID is the identity column as well as the primary uh, key okay then I have inserted some of the sample data in this uh, table employee info okay and just to explain you uh, explanation of one of the question I have I have just entered this uh, duplicate records okay and uh, so if you query this table employee info you are going to get details like this okay so we have total eight rows out of which uh, there are two duplicate records uh, Mukesh and Pooja okay then we do have second table so second table is uh, employment details so what i'm going to store here is the employee id from the first table and then designation of the employee salary date of joining okay employment uh, details id is the primary key and then uh, uh, we do have a foreign key so basically this uh, employee id right so this employee id is a foreign key reference to this table okay so i have inserted some of the data here also in the second table so if you query the second table this is how it will look okay so all these practical questions which i'm going to discuss will revolve around these two tables only so let's go straight into the first question so the first question says uh, a SQL query to find third uh, highest salary of an employee okay so we are going to take help of this uh, table where salary is there okay and then we are going to find out the third highest salary but before that let me increase the font because uh, it will be better for you 133 percent kar deta, okay? so here uh, we can write it in two ways okay so let me write this uh, uh, by using top uh, statement so we can write by using top select okay top one a star from and then we can write here select top three star from so what is the table we are going to use this is employment details okay Uh, employment details and then uh, what we can write is uh, order by so we need to make order by salary descending order okay so this is going to give you top three okay but I want the third highest so what I will do is I will take the bottom as the first one so we can write order by salary ascending okay okay so you can write this as as uh, something so you can write as you can name this query as something as emp okay and then if you run this so if you see uh, who has okay so which designation has the third is so this is this is our first this is second this is the third okay so 47000 uh, should be the third is salary okay so if you run this you are going to get that okay so right you got the 47,000 the second way to do it is uh, we can use the dense rank okay so let's write that as well so select a star from then again we can write select star comma dense rank okay then we can use over order by salary it's sending we can uh, give them give it name as something called rnk okay and uh, so from which table this table right as emp where so what is the rank i need i rank I, the rank i need is three right so rank is equal to three come on okay what is the incorrect sentence okay i think uh, you need to give it as this one okay now let's run it so if you see you are, you are getting the same result okay so this is the two ways you can find the third highest or any any highest so if you put the rank as two you are going to get a 67,000 or some something I guess yeah 63,000 is the second highest if you put as one then you are going to get the top salary or the highest salary okay so this is how so basically in interviews uh, uh, interviewer will ask you to write this query only because this is quite easy for you okay so that's done let's go to the second question 
so second question says write an SQL query to find name of an employee so name must start with aim okay so I'm going to take the help of uh, this table okay so let me just write the first table also here okay so these are the two tables we have right so I'm going to take help of this table to find this query out so we do have Mukesh and uh, Mahesh right so these are the two employees okay so what we can write here is we can write select and since we do have a duplicate query right so we can use distinct here distinct emp name from uh, employee info okay where emp name come on aja bhai like okay so mere ko nikalna aim se start hote hue right so i will be writing aim and then uh, aage ka kuch bhi ho mere ko uh, matter nahi karta so i will write percentile and then that's it so this will give you the name of the person or the employee whose name starts with aim okay so this is mahesh and mukesh agar main distinct hata do to kya hoga pata hai ye duplicate aa jayega jo ek record hai na duplicate so see Mukesh is duplicate right so duplicate is coming here so uh, it's always preferable to use distinct right let's go to the third question it says find the even number of records from the table so what we mean here is uh, let's say this is our table right so I want uh, second record fourth record sixth record and eighth record okay so how to find it so this is also one of the most asked question in interview okay so let's try to solve it select star from okay so basically i'm using uh, uh, sub query right you might be knowing it so select a star comma and i'm going to use the property row number okay so row number over i want to use the employee id property okay so order by emp id as row number okay from so which is the table i'm going to take help of uh, that is employee info okay so employee info as emp where i want to check uh, if the row number is divisible by two or not so that will give me the even number of rows okay so row number modulo two is equal to zero okay so this should ideally give me two four six and eight okay let's run it so this has given me two four six eight right so let's go to the next question so that asked me to write the odd number of records from the table okay so the logic will be same the only thing you need to do here is you need to make it as one because what is odd number if you divide by two it gives you the reminder as one okay these are the four columns four rows you'll be getting that's done let's move to the fifth question okay it says get duplicate records from the table okay so that is the reason why i have entered these two records okay uh, intentionally if you see these are the two records i have entered intentionally to get these two records because uh, our table has some duplicate records as well okay so in order to find the duplicate records I'm going to use uh, group by and having okay so let's see how we can do it so we can write select okay uh, count of okay wait a second I want to get the records right so duplicate let's see I want to get the duplicate name so what I can write select EMP name comma count of emp name okay from employee info okay having okay but before that uh let me write group by so group by will be i want to make group by employee name okay and then i can use having clause to find count of employee name okay so if the count of employee name is greater than one which means it's a duplicate record okay let's see now so ideally it should give me uh, which two records so if you query this table we do have uh, i already told you puja and mukesh are the duplicate records okay so it's it's given me mukesh and puja and this is the uh, number of occurrence so if you see that count of employee name as uh, total occurrence okay so this will give me the i mean i'm just modifying this uh, column name okay so mukesh is at two place puja is at two place okay 
now let's see the question number six it says get the distinct records from the table okay so if the count is equal to one okay which means it's a distinct record right uh, so we can use the same query here for this one also but only thing is we can make it as is equal to one oh come on because if the uh, number of occurrence is one which means it's a distinct record right so you are going to get uh, four records i think yeah so charan mahesh rahul Sruti, the number of occurrence is one okay so this is a distinct record from the employee info table okay let's go to the question number seven so count the number of employees in a department wise okay so count the number of employees in department wise so here if you see we do have a department hr admin account and technology so these are the four different uh, departments we have so what you have to ideally find out here is each department has how many employees okay so let's do that okay so let's write this so let's write this query so we can write select okay i want department name as well as the number of uh, employees okay so what we can write department comma count of pmp name okay as uh what we can uh, give that as employee count okay this is just the nomenclature from employee info okay and then you need to make it as group by department okay so this will give you ideally the department as well as how many employees are working okay so if you see account has three employees admin has three hr has one technology has one so uh interesting thing here is uh, it is also counting the duplicate records okay so what we can do here is uh count employee name okay so what we can do let me try to see if i can make it as distinct okay and let's try to run this so if you see uh, we have account as two admin as two hr as one technology as one so total we have six distinct employee right so uh, that's a better query to use it okay let's go to the question number eight it says copy one table to other table without the data okay which means uh, if you take the example of this table okay so basically they want to copy this table to another table but you do not have to copy this data okay so you just need to copy the schema so for that what we can do is let's try to solve it so i'm just going to make one temporary table okay so select star into and i can write something like punkers punkers and i can give the date of today so we just 2509 okay into this from employee info okay where so i do not have to copy the data right i just have to copy the schema so what i can write one is equal to two so i'm making this statement as false so just to make sure it's not copying the data let's see that so this table is going to create and it is having the same schema as this one let's try to execute this okay so let's try to query this table punkers this one okay and see what happened to this so, this table was not existing earlier right so just now i have created this let's see what happens to this okay so if you see punkers 09 uh, punkers 2509 has been created with the same schema employee id employee name department date of birth city gender okay so if you see this if you make alt f1 you are going to get the schema of this table okay so that's all uh, let's go to the question number nine it says copy one table to another table with data okay so what does it mean you have to copy this employee info to another tables and you have to copy the data as well so i can use the same query okay but in this case let's create a different table punkers uh, 2509 uh, uh, 2 because this is already existing right so here i can make uh, one is equal to one so, so what does that mean is it is going to copy the schema as well as uh, Oh, come on so this is going to copy the schema as well as the data right so let's execute it so if you see eight rows affected okay so if i query this table okay so you are going to get the data of employee info here okay select case spelling so now query it so if you see all the data of uh, employee info has come to this one okay so this is how you can do it let's go to the question number nine 
it's quite simple write a query to get the current date so mostly you, you should not expect this question to be asked in uh, like uh, interview if you have more than five years of experience okay simply you can write select get date so this is going to give you the current date of your server so this is 25.0.17 okay so if you match with this one the below date it's the same one to get the UTC date you need to write select get UTC date okay so this is going to give you the UTC date and time so this is 24.9 so this is ideally uh, 5.30 5.5 5 hours uh, behind us okay so basically this is GMT time so if you add 5.5 it will give you this okay let's go to the question number 11 it says write a query to retrieve the first four character of employee name from the employee info table okay so uh, we do have this employee info table right let me just query this employee info so what this piece of sheet want is they want you to query this table and select just the four characters from each name okay so let's do that so we can write so we can use a uh, substring okay so select substring and then uh, you have to take the first four character of the employee name so we can take employee name comma one comma four okay so it will start from one and it will go till four characters okay and this is the table we have employee info okay let's see what it is returning you okay so this is returning with the first four characters right let's go to the question number 12 so write a query to fetch all employees who has okay who also hold the managerial position okay okay if you query these two table together then what you will identify is so we do have some uh, uh, employee name and employee id right and this employee id belong to some of the designation so basically question is asking you need to find all the employees okay whose designation is manager right so we need to make a join query okay let's go to the question again let me write something select star from since i want to get everything from the employee info right so i will write employee info uh then i will give it as name as emp join i want to join this with uh, employment detail okay let's make it as epd okay employee details uh on emp dot so this is the common column between these two so i can uh, equate this on basis of this employee id epd okay, dot employee id okay where uh, epd dot what is designation right designation is equal to i need to find out manager okay so this will give me all the employees having manager designation so i have used the inner join okay so rahul and mukesh are the person whose designation is manager okay so that is all guys from today's session okay so uh, if you like the similar content then please do subscribe the channel uh, Till the next video mate and then bye bye take care